says, I am doing my February book haul with movies and music thrown in because it's a library book sale, so I get a lot of things. Anywho, for those who are new or haven't seen them, most months, minus the summer, my library has library sales, and I go and get a crap ton. I just fill up this bag and it is $10 for whatever I find. First editions that are worth like $30, movies, DVDs, CDs, whatever I can fit into the bag that's on the shelves, I can take. And I got quite a few things. So let's start things off with first what I got. I already did this video. It was my fairest signing. I got three books. First, of course, I got fairest and personalized to me doing a giveaway. We'll link the vlog down below. I got Cress, also signed. And then at the same place, I got Artemis Fowl, The Atlantis Complex by Ian Colfer. That's what you thought already. Okay, what I got at the sale. First, let's start off with things that I got for other people. My mom wants me to grab The Magic Treehouse Books by Mary Pope Osborne, and I got quite a few this time. Usually they don't have any. Well, I found five. First is number one, Dinosaurs Before Dark. She's been dying to get her hands on this. Number three, Mummies in the Morning, which she may already have. Have, so number six afternoon on the Amazon number nine dolphins at daybreak and number 15 Viking ships at sunrise okay so y'all don't know I kind of have a thing for collecting multiple copies of the Lord of the Rings in different covers and I thought about it and I went ahead and grabbed the Fellowship of the Ring and the Return of the King both by J.R.R. Tolkien in these covers the Fellowship is very beat up so I'm going to look for a nicer copy but this Return of the Kings in really nice condition so that will be joining my growing collection because I'm an addict I got Anne of the Island and Anne of Windy Pulpers, both by Ella Montgomery, books three and four of the Anne of Green Gables series. I have books one and two. I have not read them. Now I have four of them. I really need to get on them. Uh, eventually. Then I picked up a book series that I never heard of, and I actually didn't intend to buy this, but I did, and now I own it, so I'm gonna read it and see what I feel. It's called The Dragon Slayer's Academy by Kate McMullen. First, a traveling minstrel tells Wiglaf that he was born to be a hero, then he reads the DSA and ad posted on the village message tree. Now he's off to Dragon Slayer's Academy and in for a first day of school that he'll never forget. So this is not what you may be thinking, the book series of How to Train Your Dragon. I think it's really just called How to Train Your Dragon. So this isn't it. I'm gonna see how it works and if I don't like it, it's going back. I picked up a Star Wars book, hallelujah, Star Wars Jedi Quest, The False Peace by Jude Watson. Y'all know I love Jude Watson. I, this month, I need to start that this week, but I need to reread all of her Jedi Apprentice series. And I've been collecting Jedi Quest and Last of the Jedi, but Last of the Jedi is easy to find, and Jedi Quest, which is between episodes one and two, with Anakin and Obi-Wan, is hard to find. Need to collect all of these, need to read them. I have only have the first four, and I've only read the first four. I got some Guardians of Gahul by Catherine Lasky. I got number two, The Journey. Number 12, The Golden Tree. And then the guidebook to the great tree that I never knew existed. <laughs> okay, so I got these three to add to my numbers one and nine. I have read, I think I am on number 12. I may be on like number 11 or something. I'll have to take a look. But I am going to read this whole series. I enjoyed it all until after the Legends trilogy. There was a trilogy in the middle of the books about who Gahul was and how he created the Guardians and stuff. And then after that, it was kind of boring. So I need to pick that up. And then I also got Rebel Angels by Libba Bray. Now I have the entire Gemma Doyle trilogy and I haven't read any of it. So I need to read it. Need to get on that, actually. I may do this for hashtag Eurathon. Then, once again, there was a big manga selection. There was a lady who grabbed a whole bunch, but she seemed to be looking for specific things, so it wasn't like the whole thing was wiped out. So I got quite a bit of manga. So the manga that I found was Hikaru no Go Volume 8 by Yuma Hota, Takashi Obata, and Supervived by Yukihiro Umezawa 5 Dan. I really like this series. This was the volume that I was on for, like, five years and finally I'm like on volume 17 or something. Y'all shouldn't have seen that in my December. I read a crap ton in December. Naruto volume 19 by Masashi Kishimoto. Read this entire series. Want to collect it all. Black 
Butler, Volume 13 by Yana Toboso. I am up to date of Black Butler, so I want to collect as much as I can. I have Volume 3, now I have Volume 3 and 13. And then One Piece by Ichihiro Oda. I have Volumes 44 and 53, and I actually got Volume 61 again, but I got that last time. I need to, like, return that or give it to Carl, because I don't need that. And that's all there is for books. I didn't get a lot. I actually found a lot of music and movies. Normally I get like one CD, if that. But instead I ended up with a handful. So music wise, I got the best of Nightwish, Highest Hopes. This is not like their latest best of album. This is the best of album they did when they were still with Tarja. They are now on their third singer. That was their first. I got the music of Glee Presents the Warblers, who are like the acapella guys. I saw Glee, so I grabbed it. Twilight Saga Eclipse official soundtrack. Of all the soundtracks, the original Twilight is the best. It really flows really well. However, this has some of my favorite songs in any Twilight movie, including Sia's My Love. I love that song. I got the soundtrack for Rio! It's so I love this movie and I love the music, so I'm glad to have that. I got the soundtrack for The Jungle Book. And I got the soundtrack for The Princess Diaries 2. Not bad to get all of these. And as you can tell, my taste is kind of all over the place when it comes to music. And then movie-wise, I didn't get like a crap ton. Like I've gotten literally a whole box full of movies more than once. But I'm like really out of room for everything. So I'm very careful with my selections of movies and books, however music no, I have lots of room for music. Anyway, so the movies that I got was Breakfast at Tiffany's starring Audrey Hepburn. I really love this movie. The Princess Bride. Oh, if you're my peeps on Tumblr, y'all know, y'all should know. I reblog the crap out of this movie because it is hilarious and it's so well done. I need to read the book. I bought the book once. I don't know why I gave it away. It's just, cause, well, it sat there for over a year, and that's my rule. If it's been over 12 months, get rid of it. And I really want to get it. I saw this really nice edition in French, but I don't speak French, so I can't get it. But anywho, I got the movie. Love that. I got the Pebble and the Penguin with some family's name on the front. Anywho, I really like this movie. It's so cute. I got Mary Poppins. I, like, literally gasped when I saw Mary Poppins because this is one of the only Disney movies that I didn't own. Another Disney movie I really wanted to do known as The Emperor's New Groove. Love this movie. Very funny. Very funny. Gotta love Cusco. Kronk. And Kronk. Gotta love Kronk. And the last movie that I got was Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings is this cute movie based on the real story of the Jamaican bobsled team, which sounds crazy, but they are really good. Those are all the movies that I got. That's all the, that's everything I got this month. I am planning to take advantage of that certain sale that's happening, President's Day sale on Book Outlet. So we yeah, may have an unboxing with next month's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. Every Friday is a book review. I have several reviews planned. The books are holding the camera up. Yeah, I'm that poor. Good luck with your reading and with your book buying, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so today, as the title says, I am doing my February... Oops. I am missing a few books. <laughs> hey guys, so today, as the title says, I am doing my February... Book haul. <laughs> I was like, wrap up! No. <laughs> Let's do this again for the third time. <laughs> every single month, my library... Well, not every single month. With, um, uh, bleh. Oh, wow. Another book is, was connected to it. Oh, I know what's on the back. There's this stuff on the back. I know what it is. This is the back or the cover of Jedi Quest number six that they had there. Number five that they had there. Def yeah, five or six. Yeah, number five, Defenders of the Dead. This is part of that cover. I recognize it. It was really beat up. These are really kind of beat up. Uh, this one is not as bad as the other one, though. I didn't get that. I already have it. It's a nice quality. Anywho, the f Gahul, who Gahul was and who who created it. Very quick. What is on that? Ah, there's like a hair on my eyelashes and it's poking me. It's driving me batty. I think I 
like it's now in my eye. Whatever. Anywho, so I need to give that either. Sorry if you heard that. Those are my toes. Not a bad handful to hit this. I just knocked everything over. And then pop and uh, not pacha. Good luck with your reading. <sighs> I just pop my toes again.